all carbon bagger here coming to you live from the north more specifically we are in farmington hills michigan kind of outside of the detroit area and more specifically than that we're in front of marvin's marvelous mechanical museum this amazing roadside attraction here in michigan one of my favorite roadside attractions here in michigan here in the detroit area and honestly here in the United States. This is the collection of a man named Marvin Yagoda. That's where the Marvin comes from in Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Uh, Marvin created an amazing collection, a private collection that grew into an attraction here at the Mechanical Museum and open to the public for the public to come and enjoy. There's all sorts of interesting bits and pieces here in the museum, hanging in the rafters, just tons of amazing things, but the, the, the main attraction here is the mechanics, the mechanical things in the mechanical museum. A lot of coin-operated machines. You put money in, there's uh, fortune tellers, the games, interesting machines all inside of the museum. So please, follow me. Technically, we are in like a strip mall, but you head under this sign here, and Marvin's is hidden over there in the back. Here we have it. Stepping into Marvin's, you can see nothing nicer anywhere. So we step inside. Oh, look at that cool trash can. It says Mr. Big Mall swallows everything. It looks like pinball, pinball boards above our heads. So take a look here in Marvin's marvelous mechanical museum, all the wonderful things going on, all the wonderful noises filling the air. It says Walt Disney and P.T. Barnum inspired us to create this place for your pleasure. Have fun, Marvin Yagoda. And yes, for me, that is a perfect recipe to create a great attraction. See here the row of pinball machines. And then we have some arcade machines over here. Here's one of my favorite arcade machines of all times. The Simpsons arcade game where each person plays as a different family member. But check out this. Above the machine is an actual picture signed by a Simpsons creator, Matt Groening. It says, yo, to all the players at Marvin's Marvel's Mechanical Museum don't have a cow, dudes. And here above the pinball machines, we have a collection of Chuck E. Cheese characters. I believe, I mean, if I can remember my, my Chuck E. Cheese lore correctly, that is Jasper the dog. Um, the big purple guy is Munch. And I think Henrietta, maybe, is the, uh, the chicken lady right there. Then there's a group of of other bird characters or chickens there. If anyone uh, even knows what those are called, leave a comment in the comment section. There we have a pig lady, a singing pig lady. Um, not sure what this character's name is. I think this is a, if I remember probably this is a very rare Chuck E. Cheese character is the pig lady. And then another version of these singing birds here. But uh, probably one of my favorite things of Chuck E. Cheese is I remember this, the, the board that has the applause on it. So the band would perform and then this board of different animal paws would, would clap. You see the elephant feet or some horse feet, they would all clap uh, to the uh, Chuck E. Cheese band. Now I guess we should just dive in. All these machines run on quarters. So get some change here. Go for, uh, go ahead and just get 20 quarters. I'm sure we'll use them all. May even need to come back for some. Let's see. Got quarters coming. Oh, there they come. 
There we go. Can you believe $20 and quarters fits in a little Dixie cup like that? So I see some airplanes above us here. Now it says airplanes, 50 cents. Let's see what happens. Oh, there they go. Look at that. I've never noticed this before. It's causing these airplanes to travel around the arcade here. Oh my gosh, let's follow the airplanes here. Look at them, they, they go up higher up that way. That's pretty crazy. Oh wait, they're coming down. Coming down from over there. They travel back that way. Let's go over here and see. Oh man, look at that. That's so cool. This is Dr. Ralph Binge and Purge, County Food Inspector. You can see the, that is, that is Ralph Binge and Purge right there. He's holding a bucket of liquor bottles. And uh, let's activate Mr. Binge and Purge here. 50 cents and quarters. Oh no, is he gonna do it? Vomiting. Or at least dry heaving there. So here we play tic-tac-toe against a chicken. It says, after years of intensive training with his favorite pet chicken, Marvin has brought him here to challenge you to beat him at tic-tac-toe. Who starts will be random. Well, hopefully it'll be me, because I think that's the only way you can win. So you gotta play against this chicken here. <laughs> Chicken. Okay, I gotta go first. This is the only chance of winning is me going first. All right, maybe I got him. Maybe I got him. Let's see if he can. Oh no, I think I got you. I think I got you, Peck and Pete. I think I got you. I won, I won. I beat Peck and Pete. I get a hundred, a hundred tickets, yay. All right, trade, the, trade these tickets in for something grand. Happy, good fortunes. If you came looking for some words of wisdom, then you came to the right place. Oh yeah? A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. As you travel down the highway of life, try to avoid roadkill. Oh, thank you. Wrong <laughs> there. Gone. So what's this machine here? It looks like a coffin. It says, till death do us part, Uncle Oscar's post-mortem marriage observations. So we put the, like everything else here, put the quarters inside and welcome to Uncle oh, Oscar's most modern marriage observation. Here's your dearly departed host, Uncle Oscar. Uncle Oscar. Oh there he is, Uncle Oscar. You wanna know the best part about marriage? What's that? It's finding that one special poison. You wanna annoy the rest of your life. <laughs> it's true. Looks like the Dr. Marvin's sex change machine is not currently in operation. It says world's largest overalls right there. And there's also a tiny pair of overalls hanging on the knee. The longest neck there. See the long neck woman. That looks like it's from a Guinness World Records Museum. I'm not sure what museum that one came out of. This machine here is called the Miser's dream. We drop a quarter in. Oh, the safe just opened back there. The miser cutting money. Oh no, it's the devil assaulting that nurse right there. It says, what every man must do before he takes a poo? I mean, I'm curious, I admit. 
what was happening. Oh, he's taking his underwear off. That's this is kind of weird. These two teddy bears here in this egg dispensing machine. Hello, we're the honey bears. We know the Green Cross code. Do you? We always use the Green Cross code. Do you? I don't know what he's talking about. Take care, going home. Enjoy your present. Please call again. That was weird. All right, so what do we got here in the egg? Oh, it's like those little things that you like push down and it pops up into the air. Here we have Old King Cole, a little animatronic band. Let's uh, see if we can activate it. Oh, there they go. Oh, look at them. Old King Cole playing the drums there. You got his Fiddlers, three. Well, I guess he calls for his pipe and he calls for his bowl there. It's, it's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. One of my personal favorites, the Laughing Sailor. He's got that B on his nose there. Oh, look at him go. He's gonna start laughing. I'd never laugh like that when I have a bee on my nose. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Some things back behind the door there. It says Clyde and it's honky tonk piano. You can see here they actually have the electric meters on display so you can see how much power is being zapped up by all these machines and it says uh, for those who didn't spend any money please leave a donation for the electric bill there is a Robert Earl Hughes figure the world's largest man weighed 1069 pounds right there I don't know this woman is right here though. A little miniature man in an electric chair. I've seen the big versions of the electric chair, but this is a little micro version here. Let's see. Oh there he goes. Okay. Thought it wasn't gonna go for a second. Yeah, that's very that's very horrifying. The uh, electrified man right there in his little electric chair. Astrea's prophecies here. I guess that's Astrea. One of these sliders, the quarter in it. Oh, you can see her. She's prophesizing there, moving her hands around her crystal ball, coming up with our fortune. You can uh, pause that if you'd like to read it. This machine here says. Alien IQ. A little alien creature in there. I don't know what he does. Oh, what's going on? Yesterday. <laughs> all my troubles seem so far That's away. That's pretty amazing. Now it looks as though I'm here to stay. Oh, how I long. Yesterday. Yesterday. So this is an interesting machine here. It's called the Three Trials of Terror. It says dare to keep your hand on the button for all three trials. So you gotta put your hand in this compartment here and then look at what is happening to your hand. Of course, first we gotta give it 50 cents. Look down there, slide my hand in there and there's the yellow button. I'm gonna push down on the button and you can see, oh, there's needles jabbed in my hand, that buzz saw went on my hand. So hold it in place here. It says that I have won the ranking of Invincible there. All right. We have Marvin's lunchtime. We see there's a guy eating spaghetti in the bathtub, drop a quarter in. And you see he continues to 
eat spaghetti in the bathtub. Also, these sailors here are eating Thanksgiving dinner. Pretty creative. And what would you? Uh, it seems like it'd be gross to eat spaghetti like that because your naked body would touch the noodles. I did notice the sauce is coming out of the drain there. Come into my parlor. Cure your fear of spiders. So, uh, this way, you gotta put a coin in there. And then, okay, the doctor's moving. We put our hand in here and press down. This little spider wiggling by our hands. He himself is covered in spiders. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, okay. The big spider came down and then something under my hand like that came up and wiggled and tickled me like there was a spider tickling my hand. Oh, I, I, do I get, am I a butch? I guess I'm a butch and not a wimp. Incredible. Did I see something incredible behind this curtain? It's gonna cost us a quarter. Oh, that is pretty incredible. We got some uh, Siamese twins rotating here in this machine. Oh wow, you know, it promised something incredible and uh, it delivered. Another hand torturing machine, the great chop them off. It's gonna chop our hand off for the low, low price of 50 cents. All right, chop them off. We gotta put our hand, oh, gotta put our left hand. I am the great chop Put our hands in there and wiggle my fingers. We summoning up his mystical powers. Oh, and he chopped my hand off somehow. He saw the blade literally go in there. You can wiggle my fingers still, and look at that. My hand is fine. Let's see the carousel, very small children's carousel going around there. Here we have a disgusting spectacle. Sweet. Oh, yeah. What's he gonna do? Gonna do something disgusting? Oh, there he goes. Pretty disgusting, I must say so myself. Of course, here at Marvin's, there's all sorts of cool stuff hanging in the rafters. We've got Marvin's Marvelous Monkey Band, animatronic monkeys there, down over here. The sideshow banner, Fat Irma, was a fat lady that uh, performed in the carnival. There is a figure, there is the face of Marvin Yagoda. His top hat says, Big Marvin's Used Furniture. Is the King Cobra here. It looks like it's another one of those hand testing machines. We get 50 cents. And we gotta press and hold this button. You can see Cobra with his red eyes looking at our hand. And what's he going to do? His hypnotizing gaze. As we continue to hold our hand there in place. How long do we gotta hold our hand? Okay, I guess we passed. We didn't move our hand. We were not afraid of the Cobra. We have Frankenstein here. Or some of you might say, Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> so we gotta wind the handle to revive the beast. So, again, Frankenstein here. And then, gotta turn the crank. Come on, Frankenstein. Oh, we've reached the danger zone. Ooh. Oh, making crazy noises. This room's absolutely crazy. All these awesome old uh, magician banners. Carter the Great. Let's see another magi magician up there, George. George, the Supreme Master of Magic. Alexander, the man who knows. We've got a lot of these old magician posters. And there's a hot air balloon there. An explorer looking down. All right, there we got uh, the tattoo lady. She's from the Guinness World Records Museums. And uh, Big Boy up there holding his giant burger aloft. It seems that some of the machines that are no longer 
in operation are hung up here in decorative ways in the rafters. And here we have maybe the crown jewel of Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. This is P.T. Barnum's Cardiff Giant. It's the story where a, uh, a farmer had allegedly dug up a giant in his field. It turned out to be a scam to get money. Uh, P.T. Barnum offered to buy the giant and uh, he was refused. So he went and built his own version of the giant and this is the one that P.T. Barnum built. Um, the original giant is on display in a museum in New York. I've not actually had a chance to make it out there, but I do want to uh, somewhat go out and see the original Cardiff giant as well. Here we have Wally and Wanda. They are the polka babies. So uh, I guess we want to see the polka babies do some polka. And there they go. Oh, look at the polka babies dance. Those are some... Those are some dancing polka babies right there. Wow. I think these flags here are the waving flags from the Chuck E. Cheese show. And then over there we got uh, Mr. Mr. Peanut, or an old version of Mr. Peanut. The polka babies are still dancing by the way. Okay, there they go. I have an old granny here in an electric chair. And according to this sign, this is the actual electric chair from Sing Sing Prison. It says over 30 people were electrocuted to death in uh, this chair, which is pretty horrifying. We have the guillotine. This is a very, very dark display here. 225 cents. We have the castle here. Oh, are the doors gonna open? Oh, there they are. There, the door's opening. We see the man in the guillotine. Oh, do you see his head pop off? I did. That was, that was super terrifying. We have a monkey here in a cage. What's 25 cents, I think he... What did the rub say to the floor? What did the rug say to the floor? I don't know. Don't move, I've got you covered. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> laughing monkey. See. You're the greatest. What we have in there. Hey, head. what's your hurry? Oh, we got a little, little robot toy there. The buffalo head right here. Let's look above our head. What is this? Exposing the... What? The Lindbergh's kidnapping Casey, the electrocution of Richard... Popped a man? Oh, that's that's crazy. Oh, look at that big clown head right there. You can see Humpty Dumpty there over the slushy machine. There's a portrait of Burt Reynolds and what happens if we Oh, that's so embarrassing. Right, here's a good old-fashioned monkey band. Oh look at the monkeys go. Oh, you see the banana trees. Back there as the happy little monkeys perform. Here we get to ask the brain. I wonder what, what we need to ask Mr. Brain here. Greetings. Thank you for stopping the brain. Do you have any idea of how powerful I am in predicting the future? <laughs> oh. I he says he is the future, he controls the future. You see him flipping these dials here and laughing maniacally. This is called the donor. You see a man that has his organs exposed. Oh, look at that. You can see his, his organs beating right there. This would be another type of animatronic band up there as well. Here's a picture ride. You get a pose in here. If you're a small child, you can climb in here and pose with this mouse, and it will actually take your picture and print it out here. Now, I'm not allowed to get on the car because I'm too large, but maybe I could pose behind the mouse. Okay, so behind the mouse here, we can uh, put the coins in there. 
And then it's actually, okay, it's going for a little ride here. Mouse goes for a ride and then we wait for our picture to be snapped by that machine. All right, let's get our picture here. Oh, and there we go. There I am with my, my friend the mouse. Up above us, we have the Charlie McCarthy Band. Of course, Charlie McCarthy, one of the most famous ventriloquist dummies of all time, and his little band there, including a guitar playing monkey. A sideshow shooting gallery here. A little rifle we can uh, take some shots with. Oh, oh, I hit that. Let's see if we get these ducks. What about these pies? Okay, make the pies. Spin. What, what this? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, take that, you no good ducks. Shoot the bow tie. There we go. That's a lot of fun. It's another one of these egg machines. I always loved these when I was a kid. I always begged my mom to give me a give me a quarter so I could get an egg from the chicken at the grocery store. This isn't a chicken. This is some sort of parrot. But like chickens, it eats quarters. <laughs> it actually makes chicken noises though, as it as it spins around. What is in this egg? A pair of weird slimy handcuffs. That's kind of interesting. What would you use these for? Oh no, there's Hitler's face. It says this disgusting face was part of a game called Poison the Rat. It's a game about poisoning Hitler. We have an English execution here. It's this big prison, I guess. So we slide the quarter in the slot. And let's see. Oh, the door's opened. What's going on in there? Some sort of, oh, it's a, is it a firing? Firing squad, maybe? Oh, I didn't think it was gonna happen and it finally happened. Got hung by the neck. So the doors ominously close. Mandrake, the greatest illusionist. Right here, I guess it's some sort of magic. So sawing, sawing a woman in half there. Oh, the woman just vanished. Oh, you saw the woman half, she vanished and appeared in that cage over there. That is a good, that is a good illusion. This is the Spanish Inquisition. See different forms of torturing going on that we activate with a quarter. Oh, see this guy over here being tortured by these no good torturers. You can see this guy being being whipped in the back. And then the guy back there is being stretched and his body stretched out further than it's supposed to be stretched. Man, torturers are jerks. Is this guy like heating up a brand? Oh, he's gonna burn that guy with that brand. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. No. This is the waiting room. So we see the different folks waiting here. There's a man with an ax in his head. There is a pregnant woman and a skeleton. Apparently he's been waiting so long that he has turned into a skeleton. Oh, the woman there with the pregnant belly, the pregnant belly is actually getting bigger and smaller. It says, Christian Fechner Levitation. Oh, see the levitator there? As he levitates in the air. Oh, yeah, he sits on his stool there. A little cigar in his mouth and levitates off the stool. The invasion of the body snatchers. Here, I guess we put the money in and then they have to look through the hole there. Okay, see some guys on a uh, on a train. Oh wait, what happened? What's happening? There's a red light, ominous red light there. Oh, what happened? Oh no, the one guy was changed into an alien. Oh, that was amazing. I love that one. This is the. Uh, Michigan anteater right here. Here comes, here comes the ant. Is he gonna, is he gonna eat it? Is he gonna eat it? Oh, 
He tried to eat it with his tongue, but he missed. Now here's a live peep show here in this machine. I don't know if we should be doing this here on YouTube, but. Wait a minute. It's a, these are ants. Why, why are they ants? Oh, it says, oh, since you will see this, have you ever seen inside an ant's nest? Well, yeah, I mean, this is pretty interesting, seeing those ants there. So little backstory here, apparently it says that originally this machine had a sign that says they're naked and they move. So basically you make people think they're about to see naked people and instead they see naked ants. Some weird things up above us. See a woman's legs hanging from their pipe over there. And then I think the three bears are right there. Merlin the Magician. That's an interesting coin slot right there. Drop there. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. There's Merlin. As he lifts up. So though he's got a little, he's got a little goose, a little goose there. Let's see what's he gonna do? Okay, he's covering, covering the goose, back up, and uh, oh, waves his magic wand over the cup, and then then what happens? We're gonna raise, raises the magic wand, raises the cup, and he has turned the goose into a frog. It's amazing. Another fortune teller here, Zelda the Mysterious. Give Zelda her quarter. She looks over her cards there. Here is the vibratory doctor. Says it's not electric, it's pleasant. And I don't know what this hand dangling out of the front. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that, but let's, uh, I guess we put a put a quarter in the vibratory doctor. Oh my gosh. So he vibrates. Hold on to it's vibrating. Oh yeah, this thing vibrates. This vibrate, this weird vibrating hand. I, I don't entirely understand. Okay. Well, that's uh, the, the vibratory doctor. Some sort of challenge here. This guy looks pretty intense. Oh. Yeah. Another victim I can't take on the Grandmaster of Giga Juice. <laughs> the Grandmaster of Giga Juice. Grab it. Oh, thrilled. Oh. Giga Juice. Oh, he's going to shock me. Uh. Great, how was it for you? Up there we have the world's largest chicken bones next to Colonel Sanders. And here we have Mr. Robert Wadlow. The uh, scale there's a little bit off. It says he's over nine feet. He's actually only eight foot 11 inches. You can actually see the entire life of Robert Wadlow, the world's tallest man. This television here. Oh, there we go. Record breaker came on the scene. They named him Robert in person, too, and he grew and grew. And well, they even have a little Robert Wadlow rap to go with it. At eight years old, his growing power seemed uncontrolled. And when he got to just nine years, he carried his palm to the top of the stairs. There's the flying, fickle figure of fate. I guess it's crashing these hot air balloons. You don't see these often, these very, you don't see these, the, you don't see these very much anymore, these extremely small one person Ferris wheels. We can't climb in here, but we can give it a whirl. Oh yeah, a fun ride there for a little kid. A little clown car goes in a circle there. Check out the exit sign here. It says, you are now leaving the wonderful world of Marvin's and re-entering the grim world of reality. That's the truth. 
So thank you for joining me here at Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. I spent $20, so that was a $20 well spent here at Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. You gotta see what you can get for your money. A, a, a endless amount of amusement here at Marvin's. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel to all different roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff around the country. Um, I've traveled to the 48 continental United States filming all those and continue to travel to this day. If you'd like to help contribute to the channel, can consider supporting on Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, we are selling uh, five different styles of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that goes help keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the back.